For well over two centuries, the United States Mint has produced some of the most prestigious silver coins the world has ever seen. Of all the wonderful designs that have been put out over that time span, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar has built a timeless legacy matched by so few. This iconic silver half dollar was minted from 1916 until 1947, and it gave our nation hope during some of its most trying times. Today, its legacy looms as large as ever. The Walking Liberty Half Dollar was introduced during the movement known as the Renaissance of American Coinage during the early 20th century. This passion project, spearheaded by the great Theodore Roosevelt, was a time in which all of our nation's coinage was redesigned to be greater works of art than ever before. In this movement, President Roosevelt sought out the most accomplished artists of the day. A contest was held to determine who would have the honor of designing the new half dollar. And the winner was a renowned sculptor named Adolf A. Weinman. Weinman had gained acclaim for a multitude of sculptural works across the country, even studying under the great Augustus St. Gaudens. His performance on the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, however, would eventually be considered the greatest work of his career. The Walking Liberty's obverse portrays a full body rendition of Lady Liberty, which went against the norm of only displaying the profile of Lady Liberty. In this full body rendition, Miss Liberty strides forward towards that rising sun of a new day with her arm outstretched. The rising sun in this image represents the hope of a new era of prosperity in the United States. By extending her arm, Liberty is welcoming in this prosperity with open arms. This motif was found to be a great source of inspiration during its time of circulation from 1916 to 1947. This was a time period in which the U.S. endured World War I, the Great Depression, and World War II. While the walking Liberty couldn't have possibly remedied all these hardships of the time, at the very least could serve as a reminder that all of the nation's struggles were in the pursuit of greater goals. Once those goals were achieved, then would be the time for America to bounce back stronger than ever before. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Even after this coin was retired, numismatists across the nation longed for the return of that walking liberty obverse. Collectors were finally given another chance to collect this beautiful design in 1986 when it was resurrected for the American Silver Eagle, where it remains in use today. On the Walking Liberty Half Dollar Reverse, Weinman crafted an outstanding rendition of an American bald eagle perched atop a mountain crag. The eagle's wings are spread wide and his chest held high representing his fearlessness and his awareness of his own might. This was the perfect symbolism that our country needed during those trying times. Right beside that eagle, a mountain pine springs from the soil. In this imagery, this springing pine represents a young America with all of its best days ahead of it. Over the course of its production run, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar was struck at the Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco mints. When the coins were first struck near the end of 1916, their mint marks were placed on the obverse of the coin, just below the motto, In God We Trust. Partway through 1917, the mint mark was moved to the reverse, just below that springing mountain pine. And that's where it stayed until the series concluded in 1947. Given that it was struck for 31 years at three different mint branches, there's a wide range of options available to Walker collectors. Besides trying to put together a complete set, many collectors try to put together what's called a short set. This is because that Walking Liberty series, it's such a large series, 
In the old days, when collectors put these coins in those albums, that Whitman book was split into two books. So one book had the 1916 to 1940 coins, and the second book contained 1941 to 1947 coins, and that was known as the short set. It was actually perfect 20 coins in there because of the different mint marks. Now, proof coins are also very desirable within this series, largely due to how few of these were ever made. Proof walkers weren't even available until the Mint began releasing proof sets in 1936. However, their production was halted just six years later in 1942 because of World War II. At the end of the day, Few coins could carry a legacy that could rival that of the walking Liberty half dollar. From its rich symbolism, to the hope it provided, to its revival in the 21st century, the walking Liberty half dollar has simply checked every box on the list of what makes a legendary coin.